so we are continuing from the previous video we have question 51 the coordinates of the turning point of y equal 4x minus x squared r so if you want the answer to question 50 just look at the previous video now we have this um, the same graph and we are looking for the turning point the turning point is where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing so that point is the vectors over here it's a maximum graph and the vectors of this parabola is two for this point over here to trace that you know you trace here this is two for x then you trace here four for y therefore the correct answer will be the correct answer will be this now let's proceed to question 52 which of the following pairs of lines is perpendicular so we know if two lines are perpendicular then their gradients must multiply to give us negative one so we need to rewrite all these in slope intercept form so that they can reveal the slopes of the line so these are the lines the first part a we have these two lines 2y equal negative 3x minus 8 and 3x minus 2y equal negative 8 so let's maintain the first one and you subtract negative 3x from both sides of the second one now we can divide the top one through by 2 and divide the down one through by negative 2 to get something like this now let's simplify to get y equal negative 3 over 2x minus 4 then y equal 3 over 2x plus 4 now if you multiply you can see that the slope of the first one is negative 3 over 2 you know the slope intercept form we saw it already in the other video this is another slope if you multiply these two slopes it will not give you negative 1 so let's try and see negative 3 negative 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 will give you negative 9 over 2 negative 9 over 4 rather and this is not equal to 1 it's not equal to negative 1 hence these lines are not perpendicular the two lines are not perpendicular this is not equal to negative 1 now let's equal to let's move on to the second one for the second one we can see that these are the uh, these are the gradients 2 and 2 2 times 2 is not also equal to negative 1 because 4 is not equal to negative 1 now the third option the the first line is already in the slope intercept form so we rewrite the second one in slope intercept form so let's maintain the first one and divide through the second one by 4 to get this so we can see that the first slope is negative 4 and the second slope is 1 over 4 when we compare to y equal mx plus c m is the slope the coefficient of x so we have m1 equal negative 4 m2 equal 1 over 4 let's multiply and see negative 4 times 1 over 4 will give us negative 1 hence these two lines are perpendicular you can check for this and you see that it will not be negative 1 now let's proceed to the next question question 53 what transformation maps b q r onto p prime q prime r prime so we can see that this uh laterally inverted this is laterally inverted to this um now uh, if you draw a line here a mirror line here you can see that the distance from the mirror line to this is is equal they are equal and you can see this is a reflection of this is a reflection of this meaning that if, the, if this is a mirror here and you are standing here this is how you look at yourself in the mirror so it's a reflection therefore the correct answer is this now let us look at the 54th question the triangle in the triangle the value of x is so this is an isosceles triangle 
and we know all the angles in the triangle must add up to 180 so this is also equal to 30 degrees because the base angles of isosceles triangle are equal so these are the base angles so we add them and it must give us 180 now simplify this to get 60 we subtract 60 from both sides and we get x equals 60 degrees therefore the correct answer is b is x equals 60 no there's a mistake here so this is supposed to be 180 180 and this one is also 180 then we 180 60 from 180 will give us 120 120 so that's a mistake the correct answer is supposed to be 120 so x is 120 so if you put 120 here 120 plus 30 will give you 150 plus 30 will give you 180 so the correct answer is 120 that was a mistake it's good as for early now let's move on to the 55th question 55th question we have item 55 refers to the following transversal diagram in which the lines a b and c d are parallel which of the following best describes the relation between x and y so we know these are alternate interior angles because when we trace the shape we trace this shape we we'll get a z shape a z shape and the corner angles of a z shape are alternate interior angles so therefore the two angles are congruent because alternate interior angles are congruent meaning that x must be equal to y now let's move on to question 56 item 56 refers to the following pair of similar triangles so we know that two triangles are similar the two triangles are similar triangle abc is similar to triangle m and o meaning that the corresponding sides are in uh, the ratio of the corresponding side will be proportional so m o m o over a c will be equal to mn mn over ab so when we substitute the side length you know ac is 7 then mn is 3 and ab ab is 6 centimeters so we multiply both side by 7 to get mo equal half of 7 3 over 6 is the same as half and that will give us 3.5 centimeters therefore the correct answer is c now let's proceed with the 57th question the image of a point p 1 2 under a translation is p prime negative 5 negative 4 this is the image point what is the translation vector so we let the translation vector be this so if the translation vector is this then We have this let the translation vector be this then now we can do this if we add a translate translation simply means addition so if you add a translation vector to vector p vector p it must take that vector to the resultant here which is 0 p prime so we now have to substitute the vectors and sub and solve for a and b so we can get this is a position vector from the point just write the point as a column vector and this one too as a column vector to get this so this will give us this we just subtract this vector from both sides to get this and in subtracting vectors we subtract the corresponding components therefore this will give us negative six negative six and the correct answer is this okay now let us proceed to the 58th question we know 
O A A prime, O B B prime, and O C C prime are straight lines. Triangle A B C is mapped onto A prime, B prime, C prime by an enlargement with center O. What is the scale factor of the enlargement? So to find the scale factor, we look for the image length and divide by corresponding object length. So we can take any corresponding size. So let's take A prime C prime. So this length over here, over this length. Then let's substitute the value. You know, this is four units. We have one, two, three, four, four units. And this is one, two units. So this will give us four over two. Therefore, the scale factor is two. Now let's proceed to 59. 59 we have this we have this so the 59th question says that a plane is flying in a direction of 0, 0.45 degrees that is a bearing and changes direction in the clockwise direction to 1 135 degrees the angle through which the plane turns is so we know that this is 45 so this is 45 as the initial course now it changes the course to 135 so from here you draw the 135 from here so this is the new direction that it is moving so we want to find the angle through which the plane turns so to do that this is the initial movement and now it tends to this direction so the angle from here to here is the that angle and we know this is 45 if this is 45 minus 35 it will give us what 90 degrees so the angle between the angle through which the plane turns is what 90 degrees now let us look at the final question for may 2019 they said Item 60 refers to the following diagram, not drawn to scale, which shows that the angle of depression of a point x from z is 30. If x is 10 centimeters from y, so from here to here is 10 centimeters, the height of y z in meters is, so we are finding this height. So we have two ways to go about this. Now, because we know the, this side, we know this angle we can use alternate interior angles to determine this angle over here to be 30 degrees okay so this is 30 now we know that this is the right angle so this will also be 60 degrees now to find yz we can use this angle or we can use this angle so let's say we are using the 60 degrees then we'll get tan 60 is equal to opposite over adjacent and when we substitute we get 10 which is the opposite here to this angle and over the adjacent which is yz so we divide we switch yz and tan 60 to get this 10 over tan 60 which is not part of this so this window it is correct but it's not part of the option so let's work for this we could have also go directly to use the 30 because there's no 60 for tan but to be sure let's go by this so we know tan 30 will be equal to opposite over adjacent so this time the opposite is the yz and the adjacent is 10 so let's substitute to get this yz over 10 and we just multiply both sides by 10 to get 10 tan 30 degrees so therefore the correct answer is a thank you so much for watching up to the end don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to this channel. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video.
thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe